there's no probably better way to start <laughs> than what occurred over the last what it feels like a week ago but it was only like a couple of days ago that footage of Matt Hancock um getting into some sort of you know romantic embrace with one of his assistants in a government building somehow made his way to the Sun newspaper and since then his whole life or whole world has been coming crashing down around him now some could say his whole life has come crashing down around him but if the rumors are to be believed that allegedly Matt Hancock has now decided to shack up with this assistant and they've both decided that they want to leave their partners in favor of each other then maybe this was kind of what he wanted all along right if you're able to find love and you're able to find some sort of kinship with somebody even if you're in a relationship maybe you're going to say it's worth it to do but it doesn't feel like it um especially when you consider the severity of the situation we're going through now with covid this really important part we're at now in our recovery in terms of getting things back up and running and getting things back to some sort of level of normality you would imagine this guy would have a few more things in his kind of you know uh, at the front of his mind as apart from getting his kind of penis wet but hey you got to do what you got to do so this video as i'm playing now leaked to the sun and um when it leaked to the sun you automatically thought i think if i'm not mistaken it was first a screen grab we didn't have a video it was a screen grab and obviously if you know anything about the internet if they've got a screen grab they've got a video footage of it so i was obviously just waiting or most people were just waiting for the video footage to drop and it seemed like it would be kind of perfect time for my hanker to kind of pour a lot of cold water on his story by just resigning as soon as the video dropped and kind of getting on with it right and kind of moving on as soon as possible and letting the, the government bring in a replacement issuing an apology saying that you're going to go and try and fix your family it's a private matter i appreciate people's privacy and it would have kind of got nipped in the bud within 24 hours i think or 48 but because for some reason this video dropped and whoever was advising my hancock decided it was a good idea to kind of just say nothing and then when he didn't make a reply it was like oh this is a personal matter and i'll deal with this privately and he apologized to boris johnson himself and then boris johnson said he accepted it and the matter was closed and you were thinking excuse me how can the how can the matter be closed this is the health secretary completely going against all the protocols and rules that have been put into place primarily by him right this is the thing that makes this even more um salacious and much more disappointing and way more infuriating was that Hancock was one of those sticklers for the rules if i'm not mistaken he was one of the people that was kind of you know pushing forward this idea of fining people right during this whole time of lockdown people were being fined in the tens of thousands for breaking covid restrictions and meeting people outside of their bubble and all this sort of stuff and here he is doing the complete opposite of what he's telling other people to do and you'd imagine and given the level of his because i think if this was somebody maybe a little bit more lower in the government or maybe less of a profile he could probably he or she could probably ride it out more right maybe but considering how high profile he is considering as well that it does feel like there's been a concentrated effort behind the scenes with people like dominic cummins and a few other people to kind of paint matt hancock out as being a bit of a dummy being a bit of a deuce of what they called him they said he was useless right and who knows he might be useless but there was definitely some it felt like a co it felt like a is it coerced or constructive whatever there was definitely something it felt like there was like a coordinated attack going on behind him um behind the scenes and you would just imagine somebody a little bit more experienced and positive would have been like you know what they smell blood in the water and i know there's probably something coming right because it's usually when stuff like this happens and they're sort of conduct concocting stories leaking certain things it usually feels like they're kind of trying to put pressure on you so you can jump before you get pushed and just considering the severity and him knowing that he's got this in the back of his head knowing that he's done this behind the scenes he should have just got, you know resigned on the spot but then maybe that also goes to show that maybe behind the scenes there's a lot of there's people are doing a lot of maybe yeah maybe this goes to show that behind the scenes in the government there are other people who are doing far worse things than what my Hancock are doing and they're getting away with it so maybe he thought he could get away with it too so that goes to show that you know this government is just like oh, useless beyond the what useless is probably a um kind way to describe them overall it's just incredible how crappy they've dealt with everything it's just maddening so this is it 
Close to the Guardian, Gu- the Guardian. Sorry, it says Matt Hancock resigns as health secretary after a day of humiliation. Matt Hancock resigned. Obviously, did a little press conference video today. He said Matt Hancock resigned as health secretary after the Tory MPs, ministers, and grassroots conservatives defied Boris Johnson's demand to be dismissed from the government. The ministers fell on his word after a day that began with the senior Tories observing deliberate silence over um, Hancock's future, seemingly to test public opinion in their constitutions before many later broke ranks. And this, that's definitely the more disappointing side of it. I I would much rather people just come out and just say i think there were a couple of mps who had a bit more backbone or like you know what um it's a personal matter it doesn't affect how he does his work whether he gets up to behind private doors or you know in his private life and just let him get on with the job now don't get me wrong i think it's disgusting obviously he should fall on his sword regardless but i much prefer that straight up honesty coming out of people rather than this sort of like you know silence and waiting to see which way the wind blows and then trying to step out and make a statement that goes to show how spineless some of these people are and they continue to say it's understood that hancock had been considering resigning since friday after his apology for kissing his closest aide gina colandiangelo um, in his ministerial office in breach of his co- own COVID-19 rules failed to quell public outrage. The resignation is a massive blow to the authority of the Prime Minister who is stood by the 42-year-old following his apology declaring the matter to be closed. So that's usually the, that's honestly one of the most egregious parts of it. But it's also had a rare chance again to somehow come out of this looking good right even though you have to say this sort of level of insubordination within his own kind of constituency or within people obviously within his own government just maybe shows the overall lack of control he has with people the lack of fear they have in the position that they hold everyone just kind of feels that they can do whatever they want with no real repercussions which you know has been sort of proven he could have a rare chance to kind of paint himself out to be like the you know laying the law down and you know um uh, making sure that he kind of dismisses this idea that everyone has where it's one rule for us and one rule for everybody else he could have done that and stepped out and said you know what you're fired and he still didn't do it right and supposedly now he's coming out and trying to say oh yeah i did fire him all this sort of stuff it's just like no you didn't mate you really didn't um in his recognition letter my hancock said we have worked so hard to the country to fight the pandemic the last thing i'd want is for my private life to distract um attention from the single-minded focus that is leading us out of this crisis i want to reiterate my apology for breaking the guidance and apologize to my my family and loved ones for putting them through this i also need to be with my children at this time no mention of his wife because allegedly again like i said he's gonna hook up with this gina woman which you know do your thing it is what it is but just imagine the humiliation for the wife in it just imagine because i don't get me wrong most of these mps are probably not the greatest of husbands but i would imagine there is some sort of complicit agreement right this sort of like dirty deal you do with the devil where you sort of are okay with your husband maybe having some extra marital relations as long as he just doesn't bring you home and embarrass you right that's the least of your issues you'd imagine and for the most part mps are kind of good at sort of keeping their more you know salacious stories about them out of the press whether it's they paying people off allegedly i don't know or whether it's just because they just do things behind closed doors they're fairly careful about how they you know navigate the streets of london in the streets of the uk but this is just yeah this is just maddening but then again who filmed the video that's what i want to know i want to know how did this cctv camera get into a government building that's able to kind of monitor and view one of you know the government's top aides in such a precarious position like how was this possible and if i'm not mistaken if they saw what did i see I think I saw a picture of the office itself and if the camera did look fairly obvious. It was one of those massive sort of like bulby ones um, that you might see in the sort of supermarket somewhere. So it's kind of, you maybe think it's a bit dumb that he would do something like this right in the line of sight of a camera. But then again, what other stuff goes on in that room that we haven't seen yet on that footage? Maybe he's the most high profile person to get there, but I just think there needs to be a bit more of an investigation, understanding as to why this footage even got out in the first place. For sure, that someone definitely had it in for him. For sure, he probably pissed off the wrong people behind the scenes. But there definitely is a lot more to the story that we're probably not privy to and we probably never will be. Um, Johnson said he's to reply that he was sorry to lose Hancock and that he should leave office very proud for what he achieved. Yeah, of course you should. Not just attacking the pandemic, but even before COVID-19 struck, I said I'm grateful for your support and I believe that your contribution to public service is far from over. And yes, it is over. Um, Labour um, leader Keir Stamer said Hancock was right to resign, but Boris Johnson should have sacked him. Last night, Sergei Javid, a former Chancellor and Home Secretary, was announced by Danny Shea's replacement. 
Speaker Javid quit a chancellor in February last year. The Prime Minister had ordered him to fire his closest aide and replace him with advisors chosen by number 10 if one to remain in the post. And then again, to make matters even worse, right? Then we have this article, courtesy of the BBC, which says, Man Congress Nation, Boris Johnson defends his actions. And you just, if you, if you ever thought these people could be more unscrupulous, this is definitely another example. It's just, you know, why I try not to care about politics whatsoever because these people are just horrendous. So Boris Johnson has defended his actions following Mancord's resignation. Asked why he hadn't sacked Hancock, Mr. Johnson replied, I read the story on Friday and by Saturday we had a new health secretary. The Prime Minister says the resignation happened at the right pace. So he's trying to basically say that he inadvertently played a role in Matt Hancock um, sort of resigning when he knows especially in politics or even in big corporations, part of the reason why you fire somebody on the spot for stuff like this is mostly to send a message to the rest of your troops that rules apply to everybody. We're all on the same level playing field. If we're not all pulling in the same direction, this is what can happen to you. So that it reinstates that sense of um, authority that you have, because of course, insubordination could lead people to think that, oh, management haven't really got a control or a grip on what's going on in the company um, or people's authority isn't respected. So you kind of fire somebody on the spot to kind of reassess assert that and to send a message subliminally but also to kind of reassert your position right in yourself like to kind of let people know under no certain terms who's the boss and he didn't do that and you don't need to wait two days or three days you can just do it on the same day the story comes out because they had all the information um, i'm sure they could have got some info from government aides and people be you know with their ear to the ground they could have told them hey there's a video supposedly the sun has more stuff coming out about hancock there's loads of things that they kind of put i think they put out no a picture or a clip of hancock and this gina woman having a dinner at some restaurant you know recently too um there was supposedly footage has taken place of them doing the same kissing thing behind the door like a week ago too so i'm sure they could have they would have known the severity of the situation and he could have made the decision straight away but this is just honestly these people man they're horrible um the prime minister says he's very nation at the right page he said however number 10 said the pm had accepted the apology for mr Cam mr hancock and considered them at a close um so yeah, um, asks why the Prime Minister declared the matter closed on Friday, but then Fort Hancock was a right to resign. The spokesperson said they had further discussions on Saturday. The Prime Minister thought it was a right decision. However, <laughs> Labour's leader, honestly, these people, but he thought it was the right decision, true, but he didn't take the decision himself. And this definitely goes to show, I remember, I forgot who it was, this old guy came out ages ago and basically said that one of Boris's like kind of worst traits is the fact that he never makes a decision. He just waits to see what everyone else feels and then he would just go with whatever is popular at the time which is obviously something that you don't want as a leader right you want someone just to be decisive even if it's the wrong sort of decisiveness you want them to make a decision at, you know at least you want to make some sort of decision quickly right whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing just make some decision so we know how to react and we know you know which way to pressure to push you this whole like kind of woman and ring stuff is probably why we're in the situation that we're in now with covid but hey what can you do? And again, you know, how it ended up, um, how anybody can find Matt Hancock, you know, sexually appealing in that way is no, it, no one knows. But I think it always goes to show why I think most guys, for the most part, don't really worry about trying to get good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think that's why most single guys, for the most part, don't worry about trying to have game. Because I think deep down, all men know, I think as per, you know, Future's lyric that, you know, um, she's, um, if you've got money, she's, you're always her type. That's basically partly true, especially success or especially kind of notoriety, you know, um, notoriety is the right way. What's the, what's the word? Um, fame, power, all that stuff, right? It's the same sort of conversation or same category as money. I think deep down, most men know intrinsically if they get some level of success, some level of fame in any area of expertise that they're in, even if it's flipping playing chess or, you know, it's flipping frisbee, whatever it is that they do very well, if they can get some level of notoriety or fame from that area, they know they're going to have a whole queue of Gina's kind of, you know, trying to have a cheeky snob behind a barn door somewhere. It's always going to happen, unfortunately. And it obviously goes to show as well, um, you know, um, unfortunately for as much as women like to talk about how much, you know, how important it is to, or for as much as some people, women on social media anyway, for the most part, like to talk about the looks of certain dudes and how they wouldn't give this guy the time of day because he's ugly and all this sort of stuff. At the end of the day, it's not really about what you look like because, you know, Hancock is not the most um you know he's not a, you wouldn't describe him as a stud would you really and here he is um having the pick of the litter he's got a wife at home that clearly well for the most part of what we heard so far is clearly still in love with him but he decided to ditch her for this new one who's 
willing to leave her husband to go to him it's just yeah the success power money all that stuff definitely goes a long way into kind of heightening or widening your appeal to the opposite sex if you're a dude so if you're worried about your game and you you know you're not you're not kind of confident you're going to get any better at it or you're a kind of severe introvert with no ability to communicate with people especially strangers just try to be successful it's really difficult to do don't get me wrong probably way harder to try and be successful then it is to just try and get good at game yeah and have the ability to have the gift of the gab but if you don't want to you don't need to matt hancock proved it man you really really don't need to